Uh, I'm Carrie and I'm from Diva Magazine. Thank you so much, both of you, for talking to me. Um, I have been binge watching the show for the past few days and I am in love with it. In fact, I can't wait to just go and watch the final two episodes, actually. Um, <laughs> your characters in particular go on a real journey um, mm. in their time on the island. Um, as actors, what have you learned about yourselves or as people, what have you learned about yourselves through the process of making it? Um, I think the biggest lesson that I took away from this time, you know, we were there for six months and while these characters are going through such heights of emotion, I think the biggest thing I learned is just because my character is, is going through something cathartic doesn't mean that I can deny that aspect in my own personal life. Um, you know, we spend hours a day living these, living as these different people. And I feel like you know, your body understands that it's, uh, your body thinks that this fabricated emotion is real emotion, you know, your heart beats faster and different chemicals are released in your brain. And I feel like sometimes, you know, a lot can happen in six months in someone's life. And um, through this process that could be really intense, you know, being on that island for so long, um, made me understand how I work, how I can, how I can change sort of how I Take care of myself. Uh, I know me. You've talked about finding grounded groundedness within your, you know, personal life and work. And I feel like that was something that was really highlighted for me. Um, yeah, not forgetting this. Yeah. I think for me, playing Shelby, um, originally going into it, I kind of uh, thought the Shelby. I was a lot more free as a person in my life. Um, than Shelby, a lot more free than her. And then, you know, as the show c continued and towards the end, and I think um, Shelby made me realize how I wasn't free in my own life and things that, and then that made me sort of question like changes that I would like to make in my own personal life because I was playing this character that was so kind of um, afraid and, um, and not as free. So that, that was a really interesting thing for me to go through as an actor and as, you know, have, with this relationship with this character. Mm -hmm. um, and yet also like uh, finding a way to ground myself and anchor myself um, during the process of playing Shelby and finding ways to, you know, fall asleep at night as Mia, wake up as Mia and be on set as Shelby and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was a process that I love doing and I love being a part of it. Mm. Um, Shelby says in one of the episodes that being on the island is a chance to sort of pause and reflect and I guess in a way this year has given us all a chance to do that um, how has the pandemic affected you or not affected you and how what have been your sort of coping mechanisms um, it definitely I mean I, it's, it's affected everyone there were definitely plans that I had in place that you know weren't able to I wasn't able to see through um, I think you know, you know, it being like press, hitting the pause button, it, it really did feel like that. And I really do try and look at the positive in every situation. And I used this time to really spend a lot of time with my family um, and, you know, sit back after doing the wilds and just like, you know, go through some of my own, my own stuff and family stuff and just sort of sit back and look at life from the back seat. I think I spent so much of my life trying to drive this this boat, um, and then I realized that there's so much to learn from sitting back and observing. So I'm I'm grateful for the time that I've had off for sure. Mm. Yeah, I think um, you know we. I don't think any of us knew just how long this was was going to last. Um, and I feel like when I first knew that I was going to be in quarantine, it was like, okay, I have six weeks to make myself to be become the perfect person. You know, I'm gonna become super fit and take up a hobby and like learn a new language. Yeah. And I feel, you know, the, these expectations that you have for yourself. Um, and I feel like this time has been, um, you know, it's so incredibly hard for so many people. Um, and on an individual level, it's a lot of time to spend with yourself and a lot of time to spend with your feelings and your thoughts. Um, and yeah, just sort of, I, I think, realizing that, like, you don't have to become something else, like, better just settle and, and become friends with these thoughts that you have instead of trying to run away from them. With that being said, I have gotten really into preserving 
and jams <laughs> and pickles. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's that, that was sort of the hobby that I found. Yeah. Thank I'd love to you. talk to you guys longer, um, but I will let you um, chat to the many other people waiting for you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you so Sorry. much. Lovely to Take meet care. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks.